What's up guys, Crimson Phoenix Bird here. As you probably already know from the title, I've got some exciting news because today was my first C1 finish and I am just really excited about that. And now I can officially call myself a Conqueror 1 player. Now unfortunately, I didn't get footage of my rush hour because for some reason, I I was recording and OBS was being silly and I pushed record, but apparently it didn't start recording and unfortunately there's no way that I can re-record it or anything because it was rush hour so it's not like I can make another video. So this is going to be a pretty short video I guess. I was really hoping that I'd get to share my rush hour with you guys, but technical difficulties just make everything hard, right? I believe the reason though that I was able to finish C1 this week and not the other weeks that I tried was because I actually started higher this week. So I, well it doesn't say here, but I actually started F3 and the past weeks that I tried to rush I had been starting like F1 maybe. I even tried to start Challenger 3 once. So I think that made a huge difference because I only had to push for about 60, 60 trophies during rush and I had to, I focused on maintaining my rank instead of trying to reel in more trophies. So I will show you my offense runes and my defense runes here. Now I'll, I'll show the defense first. So actually this defense, none of them are runed very good. This is just the threat defense so that I would hopefully get attacked less because uh, two weeks ago one of my problems that I faced rushing was just getting attacked way too much and although I did have a couple successfuls I was just losing way more than I was winning kind of thing so I tried to put a anti lucian thread up although this defense can't win anything but my leader was segment the runes are despair energy, speed, attack, HP. Uh, just the one, three, and five slots here. As you can see, the runes aren't really good quality. It was just, again, a threat <laughs> to keep people from attacking me. Chloe was speed, attack, resistance. And she's on swift nemesis. I would eventually like to get more HP on her and speed, definitely. So obviously HP can go here. She doesn't really need resistance or attack either, so. Then we have Kamun, who is on speed, HP, HP, and he is also on double energy and accuracy. Now I would like to get Kamun on swift energy with some six star runes here. And then we have Katarina who I stripped most of her good runes to put on my Lucians a while ago. So she's just kind of sitting with some awful runes here. Attack, crit damage, attack. But again, she's just here for the threat. <laughs> Nothing else, really. Now I will show my offense runes. My, I didn't change any of my offense runes from uh, last, last time I rushed. So they're still the same for some of you guys that saw my video two weeks ago. We have Bernard, Speed, 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 basically. <laughs> These ones are just on here because they have Speed on them. So he's still 266 Speed. And then we have Megan, who is also Speed, HP, Accuracy. Again, she is Swift Focus. She's Speed Synced with my Bernard. And then we have my Lucians, which are too slow because there's about a 10 Speed gap between my Megan and my Lucian. So I would eventually like to fix that speed gap in the future. This one's on Fatal Blade, and my other one is on Swift Blade. And they both still do need skill ups, actually. But one thing about this rush was right before I started rush, I did finally get enough arena points to upgrade my speed tower to level 9. So. That was nice, having the 14% speed bonus from that. And I was debating whether I wanted to take this tower to 10, which would be my first max tower, or start working on my crit damage tower. But I think what I'm going to do is max my speed tower first, just because I've already started it and I'm 
kind of a perfectionist and I would like to see that tower level 10. So this rush hour, I did two refills, which is, I guess, a record. I would eventually like to be finishing C1 with no refills at all. But considering how it took me four refills last time I rushed and I still didn't finish C1, I think only two refills was a pretty good, pretty good record for me anyways. My defense was hit a total of nine times during the rush. Um, so we got one, two, three, four... Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I keep clicking on that for some reason. Anyways, I think that was a lot better than, again, the last time I rushed because my defense didn't have a, any real threat on it. So I got hit probably like 20 times and that really, really hurt my ranking. So the <laughs> nine defense hits was pretty good, even though I didn't have any successful defenses. I was able to have more offense wins than defense losses. And also I didn't revenge any of my defenses until the last like two or three minutes of rush. So I revenged I revenged three people and I won all three of them, which is nice, which probably put me over the edge to finish C1. Cause I was I, I think I was at uh fifteen hundred and 16 maybe and then I won the defenses and it put me at 1533 which was nice so I actually finished at a, at around rank 9,000 which I was going for like 10,000 but I finished like 1,000 higher than my goal was and with my stats here I did lose five battles during rush because of mistakes that I made which again is why I wish I had the footage that I could show you guys because I just really wanted to to kind of explain my thought processes and battles, but again, technology, ugh, OBS. <laughs> but yeah, I lost five battles, and I already said I didn't win any defenses, so for the week though, uh, midweek, I did have a farming defense set, so that's why I have so many defense losses, if you're wondering about that. I didn't really use any other offenses besides the double Lucian, which is my main offense because it has my best runes. Although I would like to expand into using other offenses as well. Uh, the only other offense I used was is Tyron's speed lead if I need it. So I used Tyron and then Bernard, Megan, and one Lucian. So I'll show my Tyron runes as well. Although he doesn't have good runes either. He's on Despair Focus. But I have to say, probably the monsters, the attack monsters that I have are my devolutions, because they are hogging all my good runes right now. My, basically my plans for the future are to just keep improving my runes, keep farming, keep grinding giants and dragons, and eventually necro. I ha do have a necro b10 team, but it's pretty slow right now, it takes almost 4 minutes. Um, I am planning a video to showcase my dungeon teams. I did get a new GB10 speed team, which I'm working on as well. My goal, which is probably a long-term goal anyways, is to finish C2 next. And there is a huge gap, though, between finishing C1 and C2, so I'm probably not gonna reach that, at least for another few months. But, that's my arena goals, anyway. But right now, my current short-term goals are to just keep improving my runes, basically. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I am very excited to share my first C1 finish with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe for new Summoner's War content every day, and I will see you in the next video.